Hi my amazing Geminis and welcome to Simone Speaks. If you haven't seen my other videos on this channel, I make money and career videos as well as love forecast videos. I do daily readings. I do um, if there's a new moon or a new eclipse coming up or um, something in the, you know, the astrology sector. I do um, new videos on that as well. Um, if I feel led to make videos like that, I do. When we had the new moon in Leo, I did like five extra videos as well as a love forecast and money and career videos from mid to end of July. I hope for each and every one of you Geminis that your July has been amazing. Um, I do have extra links below. I have social media links as well as um, GoFundMe links. I have so much coming up. I have so much exciting content for each and every one of you. And um, once I do have personal readings um, available, all the information will be below as well as on my about tab on my channel page. Okay. There's not going to be a runaround. There's not going to be any kind of crazy loophole to find um, that link to book your reading. Okay. Once that's available, it will be easy and accessible for you guys. Okay. Um, keep in mind, I do work other jobs. I am in college. Okay, I'm 21 years of age. I'm 22 this year on October 23rd. I am a Scorpio sun. I am Cancer rising and I am Libra moon. And everything else in my chart is Aries, Sagittarius, and Scorpio, if you guys are wondering. So um, I'm going to be very, very busy um, this August as well, but I will have videos up. Do not worry, okay? If you subscribe and tap that bell below for all my newest um, videos, all my alerts, for this channel, um, you will get it firsthand. Um, I actually just got a recent um, button for um, live broadcasts, which I may even test out very soon in the near future. So look out for that, okay? But without further ado, um, if you're not used to my videos or you haven't seen any of my videos yet, this is just kind of how it goes down. Not all the time, but most of the time. I meditate, I play some relaxing music, I get a candle out, and I tap in, okay? I tap into the Gemini energy, what we have in store for the 1st to the 16th of August. And right off the bat for you Geminis, what I'm feeling is that there is some major hesitancy to understand someone, to connect with someone, um, either you or both parties, there's some kind of... Um, like hesitancy um for so for some of you gemini's it's like you know you have all these things bundled up inside um keep in mind this is not going to resonate with every single gemini um keep in mind i do do money and career videos i do um every now and then random readings um you know we have another solar eclipse on the 21st or 23rd i believe of august so there's going to be so many more videos uploading just not just this one but there's going to be so many that one spread has to resonate and hopefully will resonate with you guys, okay? But what I'm getting is that you guys really are trying to kind of keep track of yourself and really understand um, how you can bring some kind of resolve to this kind of situation that you're going through, um, either at work or with somebody that you really, really liked or even somebody that you've been with for, you know, maybe a couple months to a year. And it seems like you really kind of want to pick which way to go because, yeah, but it's like every time you try to pick which way to go, it's like you go back to the past. It's like you almost kind of like retrace your steps and you say, okay, wait, like, let me look back in the past and it's in because you know what I mean when I took when I took up this card, it like literally flipped. And so it's like what that's saying to me is that you guys are really having a problem with um kind of having things set in stone. It's like and I'm getting that it's because the person that you're with or you're talking to or maybe like more than one kind of like maybe love situation that you're dealing with right now that you're juggling, maybe you're juggling an ex and a person, um, and a boyfriend, girlfriend and a potential lover maybe it's like one of those weird kind of like crazy scenarios that you're dealing with maybe it's not going to apply to all you gemini's but it's like i see some of you guys really dealing with you know a boyfriend girlfriend and ex as well as potential lovers as well as enemies frenemies like it's pretty much everything is all over the place and it feels like you guys can't really rely on this person to be completely honest or completely open with you but in your immediate future with the ace of winter which is like 
you know, the Ace of Wands, it's saying it's really time to kind of set your destination with clear and concise reason and to really put pen to paper and, you know, look within yourself for the higher solution. Look within yourself for the true feelings you have towards this person because, you know, what, what, I mean, in your outcome, you have the dreamer and you have the high priestess, which is really all about setting your sights really, really high, you know, setting your standards very, very high and trying to shoot for that, okay? No matter how complicated, no matter how much time and energy it, it may take out of you, it's like you still want to really end up on top and, and really have, you know, everything in line. Um, I do see this August being fairly smooth, but I think there could be some kind of like situations in which it's almost like you're going down like a rabbit's hole, you know, and it's like every now and then you kind of get sucked into someone's drama or you get sucked into your own drama or even that you get sucked into your own kind of, um, you're like your ego self. You're like, you know, every now and then you're going to kind of go down this rabbit hole of wait, like stop, let me kind of clear the deck. Let me kind of clear my mind and see what I can accomplish here and where the hell we're going in this relationship because this is a love reading but I'm also getting a lot of um kind of aspirational feels to the spread as well and right below that we have the chariot card okay and that's talking all about you know um your hopes and fears so overall it's like you do want to move forward and you do want to have some kind of like you want to have big su success in August, you know, you Gemini's for sure. Um, I almost said Virgo, so you guys also could be with a Virgo. Um, could be with Aquarius, Libra, Aries, or Scorpio as well, or a fellow Gemini. I'm getting kind of all the elements here, to be honest with you. I'm seeing all, all elements here. And um, for some of you guys, it's almost like you have more than one option. You see how there's two people in front smiling and this person's in the back like, ha ha, you know, I got the reins. It, it it really does feel like for some of you Geminis, um, if not all of you guys, like you have more than, you know, I'm going to say some because, you know, I'm seeing in the past, maybe, maybe a lot of you guys, majority of you guys could have had more than one option. But for right now, it seems like it's only like maybe like a couple of you guys that really have, um, more than one option. And maybe you're enjoying this kind of, uh, you know, adventure, this kind of, you know, new life. Maybe you, you're not used to having, um, so many people to pick from and it's like, wow, like you're just, you know, you're like, you're like a kid in a candy store and you don't know which way to go. But, um, especially towards like the 15th, the 14th of August, I feel like after a while, that kind of like free jumpy over exerting, you know, kind of over exuding of, sexual passion, you know, because you see how she's wearing red. So you definitely could be with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius on the fi fire sign. But it's it, it really just feels like overall, or you could have fire in your chart for sure. But it really feels like overall, it's going to come to a full stop. You know, I see this chariot stopping right in its tracks. And it's going to come to a point where you're like, okay, which path are we choosing? You know, what kind of love life am I going to have? What kind of love life am I entertaining? Um, who am I going to date? You know, who's going to be in my corner? Because this is zero. You know, we have the number zero. These two cards are in your final outcome. You see what I'm saying? These are actually in your final outcome. So in my mind, it's just like you really do want to set your, your, height, your sights really, really high and clear, but... I think the problem that I'm seeing here that I can kind of foresee from this card is that you there's too much going on in your headspace. Like you see how there's a bird here, there's a dog here, there's wings here, there's like it's like this this you Gemini's you, there's too much on the table, you know. And if there's too much on the table, how can you really pick who's the one for you? Because this is in your past position, the Four of Spring, which is like the Four of Cups. You know, it's like how can you sorry about that guys I have my my Mac computer I, I'm filming on my Mac computer so it kind of connects to everything but really and truly it's just like you know in the past it's it seems like you really had your eye on one person or one kind of um idea of what you want but now it seems like you've gotten carried away or either if this is not you this is not your energy I'm getting a lot of cancer energy from this card as well on um, water energy Scorpio Pisces cancer but if this is not you guys if this is not you Gemini's Maybe the problem is that your partner 
is getting too carried away. You know, I'm also getting the vibe that for some of you guys, I'm seeing a lot of different spreads here. Even though this is one spread, I'm getting so many scenarios. It's in, it's incredible, really. But for some of you Gemini's, what I'm getting is that you guys are kind of annoyed that your partner is so quick to just jump from A to Z without any kind of foundation, um, without any kind of uh, clear emotion attached to it. And because it's like you feel like you have to keep retreating to your friends and family, you know, this is definitely your energy right here. This, this is right next to each other. You know, you guys are really wanting to come out of a state where all you're doing is wallowing. All you're doing is 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 stuck in your head. Once again, headspace. You know, I keep getting headspace. You guys feel like you're stuck in headspace. And you just we just want to move forward. But for some reason, I feel like you guys are not really pushing yourselves to move forward. You you keep looking on the past and the world is saying to you, uh, wake up and smell the roses, Gemini. Everything is in front of you. The past doesn't exist. The past is gone. So no matter how your partner's acting on their end, you can only control yourself because seven is the card of perfection. You guys want your partner to be perfect, but that person doesn't exist. And if you're trying to change that person and they keep disappointing you repetitively, what it's saying is that you need to please awaken, okay? This is like your base foundation card. It's about awakening, okay? So awakening is all about setting your sights very, very clear and precise and setting on the path that is going to most benefit you. Um, in your environment, you have a lot of passion. You have a lot of creative, maybe a new job. Um, maybe you're just, you know, starting back school again for some of you guys. And even for you guys, you just had a baby. Okay, so you're trying to juggle you know, all the duties of being a parent while trying to still be independent and, and successful in whatever you, you have your eye on. But it's saying ultimately, because this is your outcome card, that there needs to be a clear, precise agenda to who you're around, who you socialize with, you know, what you do. And keep in mind, I will do um, the money and career videos. After I get all the love forecast videos out, I will be doing the money and career videos, which I think will be really, really beneficial because this card is all about career, all about new sites, all about new projects. And this is in your environment. So this is in your outcome, okay? The high priestess, you know, strong communication, um, a solid agenda to who's around you, what you want out of August, you know, that's really what you guys are doing. You're trying to aim, you're trying to aim for, as well as in the foundation awakening and in your environment about creative positions, um, you know, new projects, really new people, new circles of, of income, you, you know, new, new exciting journeys that are, that are waiting for you to take. Okay. But even if this is not all love, if, if you're one of these Geminis who are watching this video and you're not all about love in this in this video, you're not really focused a hundred percent or a thousand percent on you know who's coming in, who's going out. What I'm also getting is that it's like on the career front, on the making money front, it's saying that you cannot get to the promised land, quote unquote, without setting your sights intentionally. A lot of you guys have just kind of played the field. Okay, I'm looking for that chariot card. Yeah, see, I'm trying to look for it. You know, it's like you're you're scattered. You're scattered brain over too many options. And it's saying you need to narrow it down and get real with yourself, okay? And if you need to, you know, seek out higher wisdom. You know, this 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 bolt of light in her hand, you know, with the two, you know, the bear and the and the old wise man looking at this person, it it feels like, you know, you, you know what to do to get to this, to get to this, to awaken out of feeling like you're a damsel in distress. You, you know, you have all the tools really to come out of that. And I'm just going to do a clarifier because that's really what I think is getting at is that overall for you Geminis, it's just really about making a decision. You know, um, if you've had somebody that you've been dating or seeing in your corner for a while and it feels like they really haven't done their part or they're not doing their fair share of holding up this relationship, it feels like to me that um, someone has to kind of leave something behind. And um, definitely, for a lot of you Geminis, um, 
especially around the 14th, 15th, once again, I feel like there may come a, a time and a point where are you either going to dwell on how this person was acting for a good, hot, quick second, or are you really going to wise up and I, I believe the Geminis will wise up with, with a lot of, um, you know, aching pains and crying pains. I, I think you guys really will um, get down to business. And once again, I see water in this card. So you definitely could be with a Cancer Gemini, um, yeah, Cancer Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, or their rising or their moon sign or Venus sign, which is about, you know, how people date and how they communicate. You know, your 10th and Venus um, could definitely be a water sign, but um Overall, it's like you want things to be clear. And I and, and funny enough, I just looked to the left of me and we have the sun card at the top of the deck, which is amazing, which is a beautiful card. And I think this complements this Gemini energy for August with the awakening card perfectly. I mean, if you put it next to each other, it's nothing but sunshine and, and once again, a lot of water. A lot of tw tranquility and peace is involved in this kind of aura from this card. With this card, with the dreamer and the awakening. So I think overall, the job for you Geminis in um, the, the first part of August, August 1st is 16th, is to get to base one and weed out anything that is going to cause you to be sad, that is going to cause you to cave in and feel like you're not worthy of anything because that's simply not true, okay? And I feel like there's something else I need to say um, with this spread. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the cards again because I feel like there's something that really wants to be said. So, yeah, so with the Princess of Winter, this was one of the cards that was next to um, your first card. Okay, and the keywords for this card, the Princess of Winter, um, exclude the gender. It's just a card. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's all about the messaging in the card. It says, um, truthful, realistic, you know, undiplomatic. And then on the bottom, it says, information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. Okay, and if you see the line right here, this this beautiful, majestic, um, you know, cat. I'm guess I'm also getting Leo vibes. You also could be once again with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but mainly Leo I'm getting, or even Aquarius, Libra, Virgo. Okay, some earth sign in there, some earth energy. So it's really all about being clear. And once you're clear about what you want, and if you both want to invest in each other, and if you really want to if this is the same person that you have that I'm talking to that that's referring to your situation, it's like, do you want to kind of like erase their past and charge forward? Or what I think the universe is asking you is, do you want to look the truth in the face, regardless of everything that's gone on? And are you willing to fully awaken and set the destination with clear and concise reason as to why this person should or shouldn't be in your life because you guys do have love around you you guys do have the sun wanting to peak its beautiful blazing glory at you guys for first of to the 16th of, of august you know there's gonna be a lot of money there's gonna be a lot of people I'm, I'm, a lot of people giving you money, giving you job opportunities, okay? And maybe through this kind of route, I may not, you may not see it right now, but maybe through people around you, you know, I'm um, getting garage sales or I don't know why, maybe garage sales or, um, you know, parties or whatever. It's like, there can be people around there, you know, people there that give you this new start, in August that give you a fresh perspective on what love is, what friendships are. And it's saying that there's there's no time to hold back. Okay? Um, like I said, there's there's definitely some hesitancy. Look at how he has his hands to himself. You know, he's not sure if 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 
going single is going to really bring somebody quick in his life. Well, do you want somebody who's going to help you grow spiritually, grow financially, or do you want to be stuck in the past with no clear direction? And I'm getting for a lot of you, you guys just simply need to have a conversation or I think more importantly, you Geminis need to set the record straight. Um, not so much concerning about how that person's talking to you, but it's more so about how this person has made you feel. And once you be honest within yourself and to this person, the awakening will come. So my lovely Geminis, um, hopefully this resonated with you guys. I hope that every single Gemini that needs to hear this message got this message. And I will be uploading so many more videos. Look out for your money and career video. Please like and subscribe this um, video if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful. Just in general, I really, really appreciate it, okay? So have a beautiful 1st to 16th of August. Take care, Geminis. See you soon. Bye-bye on the next video.